In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to find your way around Illustrator, as well as show you what the shortcut keys F, Tab, Control Plus, Control Minus, Control One, and Control Zero do. First of all, let's start in the top left hand corner. This AI is indicating that we're in Adobe Illustrator. You may think that's silly, but if you're working in Illustrator, InDesign, and Photoshop, and you're switching between the three, sometimes the programs start to look similar. And so this just is a quick way for you to find out, oh, I'm in Adobe Illustrator. That way you know which tool sets to use. Going over, you can see there's a menu, File, Edit, Object. This allows you to uh, manipulate the artwork that you create inside of this area called the Artboard. So this is a great area to know that you have lots of options inside of here. Underneath each word, is a list of other words of things that you can do. The next thing I want to show you, and one of the most important things in my opinion, over here, this is called the toolbox, or that's what I call it, it's just your tool panel. But I consider it a toolbox. This is where all your tools are stored. If I wanted to draw a line, I could click on the line segment tool right here, and I could click and I could draw a line. I could also draw a rectangle. So you can see I can draw lots of different things. This is where all of my tools are. Now your tool panel, can change the way it looks. You can click on these double arrows to make one really long tool panel, or you can click on the double arrows to bring it back, and you have two lines of, of tools. Now looking at these tools, I want to point out there's a little triangle at the bottom right hand corner on some of these tools. When you click on that little triangle, you can see more tools appear. So this is like a toolbox that has drawers and inside the drawers there's little compartments with more tools. And so these are kind of the drawers for your toolbox. Now if I like this toolbox, I can, or this drawer right here, I can click on the arrow right here and it will pull out or tear off these tools from my tool panel. I can also just close out of this and my tools are still here. So you can see there's lots of different tools that I can use. These tools come in handy for whatever you are working on. So you can see the tools here. You can pull them out like I mentioned. We're going to talk more about the tools later on. Continuing on, you can see right here our file has the, the document name that we've given it. If you have multiple files open, they're going to appear as tabs across the top here. The X will close out that document but leave Illustrator open. If you have recently made changes to your document, you will see an asterisk here. Until you save the document, then the asterisk will disappear. So if I save my document, file, save, oops, it's not saved now, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it for right now. If I save the document, the asterisk will disappear. Moving across the top, this area here is called the options bar. And depending upon what you're selected on, if I'm selected on the line, I'm going to be given certain options that affect the line. Now notice if I click off of the line, my options change. So the options are the options bar is showing you the options that you can apply to the various tools that you select. Moving over to the right, we have panels. Panels allow us to change the way things look inside of Illustrator. If I want to expand these panels, I can click on these double arrows here, and I can see what my panels are. For example, I can click on one of my objects, go to the swatches panel, and I can add a color simply by clicking on it. If I wanted to change the attributes of a line, I could click on a line and come over here to the panels and I could change something like the weight of the line. Now I can do a lot of these things up here from the options bar as well, but there's a lot more options inside of the panels area. So I can go ahead and change the panels. Panels change the way they look. I can click on these double arrows to collapse to icons and you can see I now have just these icons. If I wanted to open up the brushes panel, I could click on the brushes panel and it just brings up that one to keep out the clutter. Looking at this, you may see, okay, so there's lots of panels. How do, they, how do I know what they are, what they do? When you hover over a panel or when you hover over a tool for the same matter, you get what's called a tool tip. It will pop up. Let me see, mine's not popping up right now. But over here on the panels, it is popping up and it'll tell me what the panel is so that I can navigate through and, and find it. If you accidentally close a panel or a panel is not there that you're looking for, you can find the panels by going up to Window. All of the panels are listed here alphabetically. So if I needed to find my Type panel, I could simply click on it here and choose Character, 
and I can find a panel. This panel gives me options to change the type. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to collapse this one. And so you can see the panels give you more options on how you create your designs. Now I can go ahead and show, let me show you a couple more things. I can scroll up and down using this box. I can scroll up and down in my artwork. I can scroll side to side. I can see how far I'm zoomed in. Right now I'm viewing my document at 76%. Let's say I want to see what it would look like at 100%. I can click on this down arrow, go up to 100%, and I can see what my document will look like at 100%. Now the great thing about Illustrator is that you can zoom in and zoom out, and you have a large area to work in. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so we can see the entire document. So I'm going to move it to about 50%, uh, zoom to 50%, and I can see my entire area here. This area is called an artboard. That's because this is where my artwork is going to be created. Now I want to show you how to zoom out using a shortcut key on the keyboard. If I want to zoom out on the keyboard, if I press control on the keyboard, and then if I press minus, which is right next to the zero, I can start zooming out. Now I can zoom out pretty far. Right here you can see I'm looking at this document at 3.13 percent. This is pretty small. The reason you can, I want to show that you can zoom out is when you zoom out, notice how there's a darker gray area. This darker gray area I can't design in, I can't work in. But all this lighter gray area I can work in. This is my workspace. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Control plus, the opposite of Control minus, and this is going to let me zoom in. Notice how when I zoom in or zoom out, it actually tells me up here, at, right next to the name of my document, how far zoomed in zoomed in I am. So I'm at 50% right here. So I can zoom in or I can zoom out. Let me show you some more shortcut keys that you can use. When you're working around inside of Illustrator, you may do this by accident or you may want to do it. Let's say that you want to get rid of all of these extra panels and the toolbars. You want to focus more on your artwork. You can simply press the tab key on your keyboard and it'll make them disappear. Or if you accidentally press the tab key in your keyboard and you're like, why did everything disappear? Simply press the tab key again and it will make your toolbars and your, your panels appear again. Another key, let's say that you want to work in full screen mode. You can press F on the keyboard and it will actually move your, your window to fill the entire screen. Now you can't see it here because my recorder cuts off part of the screen. But if I want to get this back to normal, I press F. And it'll actually take it one more time. It'll just show me just my artwork, and it's erased everything else. And I'm going to press F again, and it brings it back to normal. So once again, the shortcut key F is going to change how you view your screen, and you can switch to full screen mode where all you see is your artwork. And that's by pressing the letter F on the keyboard. You could also do that by clicking here and changing from normal screen mode to full screen mode with menu bar to full screen. This is the same thing as pressing the F key. Now I mentioned that you could zoom in and zoom out with the control plus and the control minus key. This is a great feature, but let's say that you're zoomed out quite a bit and you want to get zoomed back in to 100%. If you press control and one, it's going to zoom you in to 100% of your artboard and it's going to center you. So control and one zooms to 100% and centers the document. Let's say that I'm zoomed in a little bit, and I want to zoom out, but I want to see the entire document uh, fit inside there. If you press Control and Zero, you're going to zoom your document so that you can fit the entire document inside the window area that you're working in. So Control Zero will let you zoom out to view your entire document. So this is a little bit about navigating inside of Adobe Illustrator.